Hey guys, so in this video I am bringing it back to basics and just getting my resin crystal molds out. And in them I decided to put in some mushrooms and acorns that I've collected, some tiny little budgie feathers that I've also collected over time, bright neon yellows and green and blues, which is a really special treat for this project. In this video, I'm not gonna give so much instruction. I have a lot of other resin videos that you can go to if you want a few tips on using resin and the process of that. But in this video, I'm just gonna really enjoy these visuals. This is something that I love to do just to calm down. So I decided to film myself making a few pendants, a few resin crystals that preserve and display nature in such a beautiful and iconic way. It's a really grounding process for me and it's something that I felt like I needed to do today. I'm not going to talk as much in this video as I usually do and I'm just going to enjoy the vibes. If there's anything worth mentioning, I will definitely point it out, but in this video you're just going to see me making these crystals and having a good time with it. Working in the sunshine and getting beautiful visuals of these crystals and mushrooms. I want to throw appreciation to my mom's budgies. She has a couple pet budgies, and once in a while they molt these really beautiful feathers. Crazy neons that look silky and shiny and look like they glow. It's like one of the most amazing colors that I've ever seen from something in nature. So I'm really happy that this is one of the organic materials that I get to work with today. In a couple other crystals, I also add an acorn and a coiled quartz crystal. All these things have really positive significance to me and that's why I chose these compositions.
so these crystals are almost done. I am just getting off any extra resin. Try to wipe it away so it can be clean. I'm also trying to be careful not to add any fingerprints to it. It really depends on what resin you're working with. This is going to be really susceptible to fingerprints or not. But this one kind of is because it's a polyester resin. Most epoxies don't have that problem. Polyester resin does have other benefits. Like look at that clarity. So beautiful. I really should be wearing gloves. I think this one might be my favorite. I love how intensely large and vibrant that red mushroom is. So cool. And the budgie feathers are so subtle, but they're definitely noticeable. It gives it that tinge. This one has been affected by the sanding process, covered in fingerprints and sand. I'm gonna top coat it with some nail polish and see if we can get some more clarity out of that. Yeah, sorry, this one went through it. Just covered these crystals in some nail polish some clear coat nail polish and honestly that sometimes is the most satisfying part they just become so shiny just the way they're refracting light now is just so pretty they're really really close to being done I just have to do a flip and then a once over and just make sure they're all good to go this one especially needs a coat on the front but I'm just waiting for that to dry and it should dry pretty quick in the sunshine. So sunny right now. Sometimes when things feel chaotic, it's so good to get back to your roots. Crystals, mushrooms, organic material, simple little crystal art. That's exactly what I want. That's what I'm trying to do. It makes me feel good.